Audrey Doring's life began in an orphanage in China. I was adopted um, in August of 2007, so I was around 15, 16 months old. Wausau couple Jennifer and Tom Doring, already parents to three boys, took Audrey home. What was in your heart that made you want to adopt Audrey? We saw her, we're like, no matter what, she's ours. So when we brought Audrey home, she was very ill. She um, didn't walk yet, and she was very pale and got sweaty. Audrey was born with a severe congenital heart defect. I have tetralogy of Fallot with pulmonary atresia and major aorta pulmonary collateral arteries, which is the most severe form of tetralogy of Fallot. Months after coming to the U.S., she had her first open heart surgery and another one at three years old. What the Dorings didn't know was that more than a thousand miles away in Washington State, another family, the Rainsberries, were going through the same experience. Years later, a researcher in China discovered the Rainsberries had adopted Audrey's identical twin sister, and she had the same heart condition. What was this like to discover that you had a sister yeah. in the U.S.? I still don't have quite the words to describe it, but it's just been awesome. And so, at 10 years old, sisters Audrey and Gracie met for the first time, live on Good Morning America. Come on out and meet your sister. Since those tears moved a nation, the sisters have grown closer, sharing phone calls, birthdays, and family vacations. Hi, Gracie. Hi. Thank you for doing this today. Yeah, of course. Good luck. Don't cry. Too late. I only cried a little bit. You already did? I, just, like a, just like a tear. That's it. The girls are now 17, and the story of their lives is inspiring families in Wisconsin and around the country. And that's her foster dad. Audrey is now a youth heart ambassador for the American Heart Association and shares her experience at events and online. I, I watched her go from a child who had a hard time even saying anything about her heart and becoming very emotional to being able to stand in front of a crowd and, and tell her story and just really advocate for herself and just bring awareness to all that, that there is with congenital heart disease. Two hearts, two lives, one beautiful story. I hope that I'm able to share my story and be a person that, you know, other kids can look up to.